right, these are my Pillsbury pie crusts. Go ahead and grab one, and we're just gonna unroll this baby out just like this. Beautiful. All right, and we're gonna put the second one right on top of our first one. So we have two pie crusts right on top of each other. We want a thick pie crust. So we are just gonna roll these two together until it's nice and well combined. And we want a nice rectangle shape. So I'm using my little green cutting board as a base for what I want my pie crust to look like. All right, that looks nice and well combined. Go ahead and cut those ugly edges off. And we're just gonna use this handy dandy pizza cutter, which is appropriate for what we're making. Just cut those ugly edges off just like this. Beautiful, look how easy that was. And now we have the perfect rectangle. To my sheet pan. And it should just come right off. Like that, see? Look how easy that was. So now we have our pie crust on our sheet pan. And now for the good stuff. All right, so I have my pizza sauce here, and we are just gonna do a nice little squeeze right on there. Kind of avoiding the edges, best to our ability. And then just maybe a little bit more because we like pizza sauce here. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and spread that out. Get a nice layer on our pie crust. And you could totally try this with pizza crust, but I've only made it with pie crust because you'll see what we're making and it. The pie crust just has the perfect consistency. All right, yum, yum, yum. That looks gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Italian style six cheese blend. Oh yeah. And if you can't tell what we're making now, we are making a delicious pizza dish. But this is not just your basic pizza from Pizza Hut or Domino's. This is gonna be something so much better and so fun. You can make this with your kids. You can make it on a Friday night, movie night. It's so fun and you can customize it to your liking. You can add whatever you want. I mean, if you wanna do some white sauce, you can add white sauce. If you wanna do, you know, whatever cheese you want, you can add some cheddar cheese because I know some kids are picky with their cheeses but I personally love the six cheese blend. And this is gonna be extra cheesy, so you can see I'm not stopping with this cheese. I'm gonna keep going until you tell me stop. All right, babe? Extra cheese, please. Woo, okay. That's good. Yeah, so just make sure you don't get it on those edges because you will see what we are doing and getting the cheese on the edges or the sauce on the edges will ruin the magic. What magic's happening here? You'll see. Of course, this is a pizza, and no pizza is complete without pepperoni. Oh my, oh my, I love pepperoni. Okay, and we are gonna make this stuffed and puffed with pepperoni. Mm-mm-mm, pepperoni's my favorite pizza ingredient. Mine too. So I'm gonna add extra pepperoni. Okay, mm-mm-mm. Extra pepperoni, Tony. <laughs> You could obviously do ham and pineapple if that's your style. You could add some sausage, Ew. some bacon, some chicken. Make it to how you like your pizza. If you like, you know, three meats, add your three meats. If you like just pepperoni, just add pepperoni. Pineapple should never go on pizza. I don't know about that. I, I think it's pretty tasty. I do not like it on there. Okay, but I do know you like <gasps> mushrooms on yours. I do. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. so I gotta, I had to add some mush mushrooms because that is my hubby's favorite pizza, pepperoni and mushrooms. Mm, so excited. You know what, I don't even need to use my hand. I'm just gonna shake these babies on. She's a thick boy now. Mm, Ooh, beautiful. Okay, we're almost done here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Italian seasoning. Get those flavors up. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be so good, you guys. Okay. Wow. 
Beautiful. All right, now if you guys haven't guessed it yet, we are gonna make a pizza Pop-Tart. And we are just gonna cover all that goodness up, just like that. And that's why we needed those edges to be empty, because now we are going to press down these edges just like this, keep all that goodness in there. All right, and we're gonna grab our fork and we are gonna press it down just like you would a pie on its edge. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off our little fork press just like this. And we're also just gonna do a few fork holes just like this to let the pizza breathe. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some melted butter. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to that, just a smidge, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab some fresh parsley and we're gonna add a smidge of parsley into our melted butter, just like that. Beautiful. Go ahead and give this a nice and good mix. Get all that parsley and garlic flavors mixed together. Ooh yeah, okay. Now that we have that delicious garlic, parsley, Italian butter, we are gonna brush this right on top. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Wow, okay. it smells delicious, just the butter. Yeah, and this is gonna make it nice and flaky and delicious. You cannot go wrong with a nice butter brush. Mm -mm -mm. I love a nice butter parsley wash with garlic. Yeah. Oh, I love garlic. Garlic's so good for you too. Yeah, so good for you. Okay, that looks just about right. All right, so my oven is set to 350 and this is gonna cook for like 35 minutes. It's super quick and it's gonna be so delicious. Right in there it goes. Oh my, would you look at that? Oh, it looks so good, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna lift up that lid and beautiful. All right, look how good our pizza Pop-Tart looks. Oh my goodness. It is time to cut this open. I have my plate here. I'm gonna go ahead and get some ranch ready because I cannot eat pizza without a little bit of ranch. Ooh, it's that buttermilk ranch. Can't get any better than that. But I know you guys are waiting for me to cut open. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I can see it a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> the perfect pizza. I don't even need a fork for this. You don't need anything but that. Let's go ahead. Look, that's beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Oh. Mm-hmm. 